would be far from far behind him. But as Nisnas goes in, over to you, Graham. So the Hanson Trust Coronation Cup, that's it. All installed, under orders, and they're away. Interesting to see the jockeys with the first furlong, see if they can get actually a good stronghold on their horses, providing the reins don't slip. Sweaty horses, wet reins. Could be dodgy this, but Rakaposhi King leads with the first furlong, and Rakaposhi King opens up a lead over length to Nis Nas and Chip Cheek and a Catanango uh, three across the track. May soon is the back marker. And Rakaposhi King in the lead from Trip Teak and then racing between these two, Katanango and Nisnas already having to be chased along. You can spot the dark green jacket looks black. That's on the outside. May soon, uh, John Oaks, he going well in between them and behind them. Yes, and Nisnas, I, I beg your pardon, Trip Teak going very well in second place, Joe. Yes, he's got a nice lead there from Rakaposhi like, King in a lovely position, ideal. He gets a real lead right into the dip. I don't think this really wants to be in front too long, John. She just tends to idle once she goes very quickly from behind and rather pulls up a little bit. And they're going, they appear to be going plenty fast enough for a Catanango. I saw uh, Pat Edery change his whip there, pull, it, pull his whip through. A Catanango normally would be closer to the leaders. I think they must be going a great gallop. So it's Rakaposhi King in the lead, Triptyk next to the rails, Nisnas being ridden along on the outside, a Katanango back in last place, and May Soon has gone into fourth. They begin the descent as they reach the halfway stage in the Coronation Cup, and Rakaposhi King leads, set two track records already this season, Triptyk the mare in second place, running in her 21st Group 1 race. Nisnas is third, and here goes into Katanango on the outside under Padetri, goes into third place, May Soon still really swinging there back in fifth, the lightning flashes, they come past the five furlong marker. And Rakaboshi King has it. From Triptyk in second place, looks to be running away. Then the Katanango back in third, May Soon is four. Nis Nas, the pace is just a bit too hot for him. Levels up into the home straight in last place. And so it's Rakaboshi King in the lead from in second place, Triptyk coming there in second place. And I do declare that when Steve Gawthorn went down to the start, he hadn't got gloves on. He's certainly got gloves on now, just over two to go. It's Rakaboshi King in the lead, but look at the odds on favourite. Trip Teak in behind in second. But May Soon is on her heels too, and she can quick it. A Katanango is on the left of the four. They've got, just got a furlong and a half to go. And it's Rakaboshi King next to the rails. Here goes Trip Teak into the lead, and Trip Teak quickens up and makes these look very one pace indeed. What an amazing mare this is. It's Trip Teak in the lead from Rakaboshi King second. A Katanango is third, and Triptyk holds on, but Rakaposhi King rallies inside the final furlong. Triptyk has it, though, at the line. Trapped Triptyk, Rakaposhi King, a Katanango from May soon. Well, well clear of uh, Nisnas, who finished last. And so the outcome of this Hanson Trust Coronation Cup, a win for number six, Triptyk, owned by Mr. Alan Claw, the five to four on favourite, trained in France by Patrick Lubyanko and written by Tony Cruz. A truly remarkable racehorse. Second is number four, Rakaposhi King, written by Steve Cawthon. And third is number one, a Katanango, written by Pat Edery. That's the one, two, three, then, in this group one race. And really, this mare, who was desperately unlucky last year, has uh, got a vengeance today. She carries her head a bit high. She may be ungangly, gangly, maybe no oil painting, but what a machine getting a well-deserved pat there from Tony Cruz. And how beautifully he's ridden her, Tony Cruz, because she doesn't want to be in front too long. Rakaposhi King has given her a great lead, and incidentally, I apologize humbly to May Soon, who, as you said, Joe, has run an absolute blinder. But uh, here comes Triptyk in a moment. Well, she doesn't come yet because Tony Crowe's quite, like, quite rightly waits. He's very patient. Well, he's been in the box seat the whole way around, and he's had his hands full from a long way from home, and he's just quite content to sit behind because he knows if he does go too soon on this filly, she does tend to sort of go three or four lengths clear, then she'll idle. And the two there, he's got no, no worries whatsoever. He's just going to sit and hang on to her a while longer. While he's come on the outside, appears to have a danger, but they're going nowhere. The only one that's making any real progress at the moment is, is the German horse. And there, off he goes now, and, you know, the race is over. But she's gone now, and what, what acceleration she shows at the furlong pole. She did it last year, but she did it a bit too early. This time, the timing is exact. Rakaposhi King runs on really well, and Akatanango does his level best, his formidable best. Don't forget, this is only the fourth time in his life he's ever been beaten at all. But I don't believe he even gets to Rakaposhi King, who's going to hold on to second place, but Triptyk's the winner.